Hey guys, what's up? It's Charlie here and today we're going to be looking at 10 real people who look like cartoon characters. So these are real people who look exactly like cartoon characters and these are from Disney films and other cartoons that you guys might watch every single day. And you guys may have seen this topic on the web before but the ones on this list are really unknown images that I found all by myself. So please drop a like if you enjoy, let's aim for 7,000 likes on this video because it really does help me out. So coming in at number 10 we have Eric Cartman. So I'm sure you guys all know South Park and I used to watch this so much back when I was younger, but I don't really watch it now. But if you ever have watched it, then you'll remember the character Eric Cartman. And he was like the main character and probably the funniest one. Well, one day a guy was in a bus just going from A to B, and then he looks to his left and BAM! South Park has become real! Because the real life equivalent of Eric Cartman was sitting right next to him. Damn, I probably think I was high or something. Because this guy looks and dresses exactly like Eric Cartman. And you guys are probably wondering if he did this on purpose, and I don't think it is. I mean, it doesn't look like he's going to a fancy dress party, because he's just reading a book on the bus and he's not drawing any attention to himself he's just reading quietly and I doubt he would do this on purpose anyway because it's probably not a good thing to look like Eric Cartman and this photo was posted on reddit back in 2012 and it got like 11 million views in just a few days but what do you guys think is this a crazy coincidence or on purpose so coming up next we have Mario and Luigi. So I know the one before may have been on purpose or maybe not, but there is no way this one is on purpose. And this one is of everyone's favorite video game brothers, Mario and Luigi. Uh, that's not just a video game, that's a cartoon too, you fuck. Well, who cares? Nah, but seriously, I had to put this one on because of how crazy and realistic this is. So the story behind this one is basically a guy was sitting in a diner and then he looks out of the window and sees these two guys and they're workers of some kind, maybe plumbers, who knows? But this is so coincidental because there's a short guy with a Stash in red for Mario and a tall guy in green for Luigi and this photo went viral back in 2008 and a ton of people were saying it's fake and on purpose but I really don't think that this is on purpose because let's be honest I don't think these guys are really the type to play Mario Brothers and also guys comment who you prefer playing as most when you were young for me it was actually Luigi I know I'm weird but coming up next we have Shrek Oh, hello there! So this one is such a meme and stuff now, and I know when some people are called Shrek, it's kind of like an insult. For example, over in the UK, we have soccer player Wayne Rooney, and he is always called Shrek, but compared to the guy you're about to see, he looks nothing like Shrek. And that is this guy. Okay, I'm joking, guys. It's actually this guy. And this guy was a famous French wrestler, and he was called Maurice Tillette, but his stage name was the French Angel, or the world's ugliest man, which I think is kind of mean. And this guy is definitely not on purpose, because he was around back in the 1950s, and obviously Obviously, that was way before Shrek was even invented and this guy was actually mocked the whole time for looking like Shrek But I think he used it to his advantage to be like scary to his wrestling opponents And he was a really famous wrestler back then But unfortunately he died in 1954 because of a heart failure But I had to put this one on this video because he looks so much like Shrek. It's insane So coming up next we have up so I'm sure you guys know the Disney film up with that old guy and the fat kid in the flying house You know that one but yeah, it turns out that the old man in this has a real-life person who looks exactly like him and here he is. Nah, I'm just kidding guys. I'm gonna show you the real one in just a second. And I know some of you might be like, well, any old guy could look like that. But guys, hear me out because if you look at this Disney character, he's got an unusually big nose, a big mouth, and really square glasses. And it turns out this one guy's granddad actually looks exactly like him. And as I said before, he has the big red nose, the square glasses, and the wide mouth. And I just think this is such an insane coincidence. And what's funny is I don't think I'd really notice this guy if I walked past him in the street. But when you look at them side by side, you can see they're pretty much identical. And honestly, I thought this could be faked or photoshopped at first, but I checked it out and no, it's not. This one is totally real. So coming up next, we have Elsa. So I'm sure you guys all know the film Frozen and I haven't actually seen it, but I know it's so popular and the main character in Frozen is called Elsa. And no guys, I'm not going to show you one of those Elsa vs. Spider-Man videos. I'm actually going to show you a real life woman who looks exactly like Elsa from Frozen. And this girl was just walking around a store in America with her friend when her friend pointed out that she looked really similar to the Elsa cardboard cutout that was on display selling the DVDs. So she stood next to it and her friend took a photo for fun, but it ended up going completely viral because of how much of a coincidence this is. And I mean, they are really similar, like they have the same makeup, the same kind of face structure, and she can even do that eyebrow thing. If only she dyed her hair, then she could look exactly the same as her. Well guys, she didn't dye her hair, but after it went viral, she did actually post another photo, but this time wearing the outfit for Elsa. I mean, if this girl doesn't go as Elsa for Halloween, then she's really missing out. And I know a lot of you guys are going to be saying, what's this girl's Instagram? And guys, I can tell you that right now is at Anna Faith XOXO. And obviously, guys, as you can see, this photo absolutely blew up her modeling career because she has almost 800,000 followers on Instagram right now. 
So coming up next guys, we have Peter Griffin. So we all know Peter Griffin from Family Guy, and he's basically a normal looking guy. He's just like a fat man with a white shirt, glasses, and green trousers. But even though he is kind of normal, this guy still blew my mind because of how much he looks like him. And I don't think this one is on purpose or anything because it's not like he's fooling around in a friend's bedroom. This guy literally went out to a nightclub like this. And I'm pretty sure this was taken before Family Guy was even invented. And I mean, it's not just his clothes, it's his face too. Like he looks exactly the same as Peter Griffin. The only thing this guy doesn't have is for a chin. But yeah, let me know in the comments if you guys think this is on purpose or not. Because I think this is totally real and who knows, maybe Peter Griffin is based off this guy. But anyway, coming up next, we have Ned Flanders. So you guys all know that annoying neighbor, Ned Flanders from The Simpsons. Well, one guy in America had a real Ned Flanders as his neighbor. And his neighbor basically looked exactly the same as Ned. He had the same haircut and mustache and glasses. And one day he even dressed up in a pink shirt and a green jumper. So it was literally the exact doppelganger of Ned Flanders. And even though this one was kind of set up because his neighbor told him to put the clothes on. He still has the same face and glasses and hair. So this is still a crazy coincidence. Like if they ever did a live action movie for The Simpsons, they have to use this guy. And around the internet, there's a ton of people who say people look like Ned Flanders. Okay, I mean some do, but come on, this guy doesn't look anything like him. But even though some of the other comparisons are a little bit better, this one is obviously the most accurate. I mean, the only thing that can make this guy look even more like Ned is if he had yellow skin. There you go guys, I just made the closest thing to Ned Flanders you're ever gonna see. So coming up next we have Rapunzel. So I'm sure a lot of you guys know the Disney movie Tangled, which is basically like a modern version of Rapunzel, which is a really old story. But yeah, the main character of Tangled is called Rapunzel, where basically a girl is locked in a tower, so she grows her hair really long, and then a prince or something comes and saves her, I don't really know to be honest. And it turns out that this girl here with insanely long hair looks exactly like her, especially when she's dressed up and has grown out her hair. And this was part of a photo shoot showing what Disney princesses would look like in real life. So yeah, obviously this one isn't just a coincidence because she's in a costume and she's got grown out hair, but apparently the hair is real. I mean, damn, she must have had to grow her hair for years just for that one photo. And this girl is actually a professional model who has a ton of followers on Instagram. So yeah, guys, even though this one is set up, it's still pretty cool and so realistic. But coming up next, we have Ratatouille. So you guys all know that Disney movie with the rat who can cook. Well, here's the rat in real life. Okay, guys, I'm just kidding. The real Ratatouille character is the boy from the movie. And this guy was just at a mall with a friend, kind of like the story from the real life Elsa from before. But anyway, they walked past the Ratatouille DVD, and his friend took a photo of him with the DVD cover, because he looks exactly like the guy in the movie. I mean, this guy really does, he has the same nose and the same kind of red skin, and even the exact same hair color and style. And this photo went viral because of the insane coincidence, and what's crazy about this one is that it isn't the clothes or anything like that, this guy just naturally looks exactly like the guy from Ratatouille. And apparently this guy never noticed that he looked exactly like the guy from Ratatouille. Before this went totally viral, before his friend I mean, I don't out. know how he didn't notice that first thing. Because to be honest, when I first saw this image, before I even saw what DVD he was holding, I was already like, wow, this guy looks exactly like the guy from Ratatouille. But anyway, coming up last, we have Johnny Bravo. So I remember this show so much because it was so good. And if any of you guys were born in the 90s, then I'm sure you guys will remember Johnny Bravo. And this wasn't a coincidence, this guy just really looks like him. He's got the same glasses, hairstyle, and kind of clothes. And if you guys don't know, Johnny Bravo is so vain. And by the looks of this guy's hair, and him taking a selfie, he is too. And you might think, well, okay, this guy does look pretty strong, but not as strong as Johnny Bravo. Well, that photo was taken a while ago before he started working out a lot, and this is him now. I mean, is this man even human? He looks insanely big. I'm pretty sure Johnny Bravo himself would even be scared of this guy. <laughs> Like, damn, I should have put this guy in my Giants video. I don't know, but this guy really does look exactly like Johnny Bravo. And guys, comment if you used to watch Johnny Bravo. Because I did, even though he was actually pretty creepy to the girls, now that I think about it. And also, guys, another bonus creepy fact about Johnny Bravo is that they predicted 9-11. So this cartoon here went out before 9-11, but look, it shows the Twin Towers on fire with coming soon right on it. And that just about wraps up this video. Check out the poll in the top right corner, and you guys can vote for your favorite cartoon character on this list. For me, it's Mario and Luigi just because I used to play that so much as a kid. And also guys, before the outro, here's some more cool fan art that you guys did. And be sure to keep sending that stuff in using my Twitter at CharlieTop10s or my Instagram which is also at CharlieTop10s and even my Snapchat which is top underscore 10s. But yeah guys, thanks for the cool fan art. And yes guys, the huge Amazon voucher giveaway will be coming soon. I had to postpone it because of a ton of really annoying things that happened this week actually. But guys, it is going ahead. I'm going to be doing it on YouTube and Twitter. So hopefully you guys are already subscribed and following me. So you you guys don't even have to do anything when the time comes, which will be very soon, guys. But as always, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe.